So for this little bonus segment here, I wanted to show you something cool we could do with this Lenkind smart switch. You can actually make it act like a dimmer. So the way you do that is just go into configuration, configure template, and we're gonna actually change the relay. Uh, I have this as the output high that holds the relay high. Out, GPIO4 was a fake one I did. So we'll set that one to none. And then LED one, which is the green LED, we're gonna actually set that to PWM, which is a dimmable light. Yeah, pulse width modulation is basically it blinks the LED so fast your eye can't see it, but it gives that illusion that it is getting brighter or dimmer. So we don't need the LED link anymore. And then we'll set this one to LED one. And then the very important thing is you see the buttons, there's button one and button two. Well, we can't use the buttons because we're gonna be using a specific switch mode that allows us to press and hold and it does dimming. So we'll change this one to switch two and switch one, and then we'll save it. So it's gonna be hard to see, but the LED because of the angle, it's just a little hole, but it does give us the ability to dim this up and down. Now, of course you can see since it's in device groups, it's now going to sync. So you can already see the power of being able to do this. But now we gotta fix the buttons because of course the buttons don't work. So we're using a switch mode, which is switch mode 12, which is just for dimmers. So we'll set both switches. I could spell and then we'll also change the delay we'll use set option 32 which is the delay for the hold we'll do 12 as well which is 1.2 seconds of course you can change that and there's also the dimmer step which is how big of steps it takes as it you know holds now we need to set some rules right quick and I'll leave all this in a blog post if you'd like, or try to put it in the description of the video. And that way, if you, whoever wants to do this, just let me know if I forget. So now once the rules are set and turned on, we'll give it a test. You should be able to push the bottom button and turn it off. The top button should turn it back on. And you could change that if you want either or but it's how this, I did this one, whereas if you try to push it up, it's just not gonna turn it back, you know, it's not gonna toggle it. You could change it to a toggle. But now when you press and hold the down, it's going to actually dim, and it also dims the green LED on the switch itself. But pretty cool that you can go in here and use this Lenkind switch as a dimmer per se, and it's not really a dimmer at all. So it's really cool the power that you can do with it. And I know people do ask some from time to time, if you change the dimming, this little slider does not auto update. So if I come in here and change it to really low, this slider doesn't auto update, but if you would check the console, you would see the dimmer value go down. If you did want to just watch this, you can refresh it and see the dimming value go up and down. And you can see, but I'm refreshing, pressing F5. So this is really just for testing anyway, this console to see these values and whatnot.